guys, it's Jazz and I'm completely feeling like a truck ran over my body, but I really wanted to make a video because I'm so excited and I'm like still on a happy high and like cloud nine and all that, so I wanted to make a video. My hair is wet, I have no makeup on, I'm wearing a t-shirt. Don't mind me, but it's the content that matters. And also I'm using my phone because I'm just really lazy. So let's just roll right into it. So I'm going to start with the first part of this video, which is getting my Coldplay tattoo. Um, people wanted to know a reaction about it, how I felt. It's my first tattoo, so like, I really had no idea what to expect. So driving there, my uncle told me it felt like a scalpel like in your body, like moving around, and I was like, well shit, I'm probably going to die. But once I got in there, um, he literally was like, okay, we're going to start, and I was like, okay. And then he went in, and honestly, I didn't even flinch. And it's right on the bone, it's right over here. So, like, that's supposedly one of the toughest spots to get tattooed because it's right on the bone. Um, but honestly, it did not hurt that much. If it was rated out of a 10, it'd probably be a 6. I mean, I have a really high pain tolerance, so um, that's probably why it didn't hurt that bad. But I'm so happy with it, it's so pretty. I'm gonna insert pictures and stuff at the end of this video. Um, it was, it's amazing I love it but honestly <laughs> that was my first tattoo and I would so get another but I'm gonna probably kill me so I'm just gonna hold off on that one but um yeah it was really great I was not expecting it to hurt that little and um yeah that's about that for that story so I want to roll right into um my experience at the Coldplay concert last night <sighs> insane so basically, me and my friend, we bought tickets back in like February, we were in the 300s, they were like 70 something bucks, and that was what we could afford because we're in college and it's hard to afford anything more than that. So we got those tickets, we were really excited, I was looking forward to it, they're my favorite band, they like are everything to me, so really excited. So eventually the concert comes, and um, we go into our seats, it's in the 300s, I'm so hyped, I don't even care that I'm up top. And it's amazing. So, um, I have a friend who I met years and years ago. I haven't seen her in like six years, probably over that. And, um, she was going to the concert, so she called me up, and I hadn't, like, heard from her forever on the phone because, like, it's just been a long time. And, um, she's like, hey, like, what section are you in? And I was like, 335 or whatever. And she's like, oh my gosh, I've been 333. Or, whatever she said and she's like do you want to like meet me on the concourse for a second I was like oh yeah sure no problem so I walked out and I like hugged her I was really excited and um there were these two women with her and they were in Coldplay shirts they were a little older so I didn't really know who they were I just thought she they were her friends they're like hi like um we just gave your friends pit passes front row um I heard you got a tattoo and I was like oh yeah and I didn't know who they were because like I'm just in shock I'm just so excited to be here and I was like oh yeah I did and they're like, I see it. So I showed them, and they're asking how much it hurt. And I really just thought they were just judging the crap out of me. Like, oh, you must like Coldplay a lot to do that. I was like, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So then eventually they're like, well, we have two more. And um, did you want to have them? And I just started crying. Like, I just was like, no, oh my God, you're not real. Um, and she's like, but there's two conditions, you gotta dance a lot and you gotta give me your tickets so we can give it to charity. And I was like, oh, yes, of course, no problem. So then I was like freaking out, we walked outside the arena and we went around the concourse and we eventually got to our seats and we were first row. Literally there was no one in front of us, we were right on the barricade, Chris Martin and his boys are all along this way. I was in heaven, like this is a dream I never thought could ever happen. Like. I would dream about it driving in the car years and years ago in high school and never would I've ever thought. So it was just insane and I was just taking it all in. I was just like, it's just unreal that this is happening to me. The concert starts and I'm like crying and it's amazing. Like even before Coldplay came out, they played a video of different people from different countries and I was just like tearing up. I was like, oh my god. But um. So it came out and I was screaming and I'm jumping up and down and it's insane like seeing them in the flesh like oh it's unreal like unreal. There was a cameraman that would walk along the stage by the barricade and since we're the first row we're able to go on the barricade and um he kept coming over and I was just so hype I was like dancing like interpretive dancing with my hands. 
he was like, I don't know, any song I was like going like this, I was doing hand motions, and he was cracking up. He kept coming back and he kept like doing thumbs up and he's like, keep going. It was hilarious. Like we got on the big screen like th two, three times maybe. Unreal. I was like in heaven. But at MetLife, it was so hot, like dripping sweat hot. I've never sweat that more that much in my life. It was so hot. Uh, I felt like I was gonna pass out. Like my legs were shaking. Like my world was kind of going weird. I thought I was gonna pass out. And I hate water. I just downed my Gatorade bottle. I hate water. I took my friend's water bottle and I drank like half of it because I was scared the EMT was gonna come and be like, "All right, she passed out. Like we gotta go." But I did not, I made it, but like towards the end of the concert I was trying to like be calm and not like go crazy because I was not trying to pass up or throw up on the stage or like anything like that. I survived, Fix You played, I was just taking it all in, I was sitting there like this, so I was like, so unreal, it's unbelievable. I really, really want to thank the staff of Coldplay and those two women that came and gave my friends tickets and me tickets. I will be forever grateful, like, forever grateful. I want to thank Coldplay for changing my life, for putting on the best concert ever. Thank you guys for watching. I am so grateful. God is so good. And I love you all. I will see you next week.